subtracting, we are going to undo by multiplication and division. So go ahead and get your papers labeled with the topic for today. And we will move into today's lesson. There we got it. Let's see. Hour one. This is hour one. Oh, All right, so get your paper label, and we will start here with lesson two. Solving inequalities by multiplying and dividing. Again, like we've been doing, I'm going to give you um, some examples, and we're going to, or some reminders, an example. We'll work through it. I'll show you how to graph it, and then the rest of class time is going to be for you to complete that assignment or go back and finish that first assignment from Monday to make sure that we get that taken care of. And then as always, when you're done, put that on, take a picture, put it on your DUR, and then give yourself a score on a four, three, two, one basis. All right, here we go. So we talked the other day about inequalities. So we're just gonna do a quick reminder, um, quick review about the inequality symbols. There are four of them. We've got less than, so less than is the one where it's one of those open circles, and then you're gonna shade to the left when you graph it on a number line. Remember, one of the things that we talked about is if you're having a hard time remembering which symbol, which pointy symbol is the less than symbol, if you hold up your left hand and make a capital letter L, and you turn, rotate your hand, sideways, it will make a capital letter L. So as a reminder, that one is the less than L left and less than both start with L. We also have the greater than symbol. So we know that when it's open, facing open to the left, that is the greater than symbol. And just like less than, it's an open circle, but instead of shading to the left, we shade to the right. And then we talk about less than or equal to, which means it includes the number you find as the solution, as well as any number smaller than that number. And last but not least, greater than or equal to. Okay, so the ones with the little half equal sign are um, the ones where it's a closed dot, and then the ones where it doesn't have you okay, Brody? Okay. A pencil? Here you go, man. There's some right here. All right. So, again, if you took good notes on Monday, you also saw this information on your notes from Monday. So, again, we've got those four symbols, depending on which one we need. Again, if it has that little half equal sign, you're going to use the closed dot. And if it doesn't have the half equal sign, you're going to do the open circle. Um, if you are in person, can you give me a thumbs up if you're ready to move on? If you are at home, can you click your raise hand button so I know?
All right, just a little more time and then we are gonna move on. Again, we've got those four symbols, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and unclick that raise hand button. We will move on to our first example. If for some reason um, you didn't get enough time to complete that, all of this information is posted in um, Schoology. So you can access those slides here whenever you are ready. So you don't necessarily need to take the time to copy these five steps. These are the five steps that we talk about with solving equations and inequalities. We draw the balance line right through that equal sign. We simplify both sides, meaning we're gonna take and do whatever we do to one side, we do to the other side. Combining like terms, everything that we can do. <clears throat> move all the variables to one side, move all the plain numbers to one side. And then it's always a good idea to plug your answer back in and check to make sure that that inequality is true. Okay, that's one of the, the nice things about solving equations and inequalities is you can take your answer Plug it back in and that will tell you if your solution is accurate. So we're gonna solve this inequality and then we're gonna graph it on a number line. So negative three X is less than 12. Go ahead and write that down on your paper. And when you look at this inequality, we know that when a number is next to a letter, it means to what? Correct. And to undo that, we have to divide. So what we need to do is make sure that we get X alone. And we're going to do that by dividing both sides of this equals um, the inequality symbol by negative three. And the reason why we do that is this turns this into that giant one that we've talked a lot about. Um, and again, the whole idea is to make this variable plain and all by itself on the left hand side. So <clears throat> the next thing that we do is we also then have to do 12 divided by negative three. And so what does that give us? 12 divided by negative three, four, negative four, yep. Now, here's the thing that needs to happen is when you multiply, this is the important piece, when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to make sure that you flip the inequality symbol. And here's why. If we had said our solution was actually um, x is, less than negative four. And if I plug something smaller than negative four, let's say negative five back into the equation, and I check it, I know that negative three times negative five is actually a positive 15. And is 15 less than, oops, that should be a question mark. Is 15 less than 12? Is 15 smaller than 12? No. So this would not be true. So one of the tricks that has to happen is when you multiply or divide by a negative number, this inequality symbol has to flip around in order for that inequality symbol to be true. So if I picked another number, let's say I pick um, a number greater than negative four, we know zero is bigger than negative four. You'd rather owe somebody no money than owing them $4. So if I check it again, but I put a zero in for X instead of um, the negative five, I'm gonna check to see, is this really less than 12? This is a question mark up here. Negative three times zero is zero. And is zero less than 12? Yes, it is. So we know 
that this is our solution to this inequality. This is our solution to the inequality. The key here again, when you multiply and divide, is to flip that inequality symbol around in order for the inequality to be true.